The story Ukraine's counteroffensive in the summer of 2023 is, on the surface, one disappointment, heavy losses and little territorial gains. From the start, Ukrainian political and military leaders had to balance high expectations with tactical realities that proved extremely difficult for Kiev forces to overcome. Officials in Kiev have sought to ease Western concerns about lack of progress while noting the broader successes of Ukrainian operations. All of Western Russia and Moscow are now within range of Ukrainian drones. It is reported that part of the Black Sea Fleet has been removed from Crimea. Ukraine's apparent superiority in artillery combat is a particular source of pride for Kiev. From first moments of the all-out invasion of Russia, big guns dominated battlefields. For all the so-called modernization, Moscow's military doctrine retained Russia's historical focus on artillery. In the early stages of the conflict it became clear that Russian artillery was outnumbered and better supplied than that of their Ukrainian enemies. But Russia's god of war has been somewhat silenced as Kyiv's arsenal has been reinforced with NATO. Systems Ukrainian soldiers fire a 2S22 Bodena self-propelled howitzer towards Russian positions in Donetsk Oblast, Ukraine. On October 17, 2023, with the arrival of new NATO weapons, the artillery duel changed in Kyiv's favor. The tally of alleged Russian equipment losses in Kiev shows the enthusiasm of Ukrainian artillery and drone teams in hunting down Russian big guns as well as multiple launch rocket systems that perform a similar function at shorter ranges. From September to November 2023, Ukraine claimed to have destroyed 2,272 artillery pieces and a further 167 MLRS. In the same period in 2022, this figure was 789 guns and 108 MLRS. Newsweek cannot independently verify the figures and has contacted the Russian Ministry of Defense to request comment. This is a really big problem for Russians. Ivan Stupak, a former officer in the Ukrainian Security Service who is now an advisor to Ukrainian parliaments. National Security, Defense and Intelligence Committee, told Newsweek of Kyiv's artillery campaign. For about the last five months, Russia has been very actively using old-style artillery. Not end Soviet period, but mid-50s and mid-60s towed guns of D-30 and D-20 type with a maximum range stupak. About 9 to 11 miles said. This is a very short range. It's nothing compared the archer in Sweden, he said, referring to the system donated Ukraine by Stockholm that has a range of more than 30 miles. Russian artillery stocks are completely exhausted, Stupak said. They use this artillery because they have no other option. President Vladimir Putin is shifting the Russian economy to a war footing. But increasing production of artillery spare parts is complex and partially dependent on Western technology to which Moscow currently has limited access. The stress of corroded barrels is a particularly big problem. Stu.